What is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joking John 74, and today we'll be talking about Von der Hart, the guy behind Black Ops 3, the guy who pretty much conquered a lot of hearts on Twitter, and literally those people that he conquered, they sound like they really want to deep throw the guy. Like, they literally want to go down at him. I don't know what the hell's wrong with those people, but god damn it, y'all gotta fucking stop living in denial. The guy lied to you. He literally lied to every single one of his fans. Because a long time ago, like I remember like a month ago, before the reveals, before the Snapchats, like there, it was like barely like on Snapchat number 5, I believe. And, um, you know, on Twitter, he did tweet this out saying that, remember how we used to play in Black Ops 2? It will be exactly the same how we play in Black Ops 3, you know. It's trying to tell us that, you know, Black Ops 3 will be like Black Ops 2. And, and I was like... Holy damn, we're actually gonna stop this Halo bullshit. I was, I was like, yeah, I was like living in hope and shit. And then in the trailers, I was like, what the fuck? I called it. I called it a long time ago. This guy will lie to us because this guy is under the Activision puppets. You know, he's pretty much a puppet. He can't do shit. He's just a talker. That's all he is. He can only provide the ideas, but Activision's gonna slay down the hammer and tell him no. You got to do what Advanced Warfare did. So he had to do it and he had to die on Twitter. But yeah, he's off the hook. I've noticed a lot of people are still supporting this guy. And I was like, what the fuck? So um, I believe his reputation, Von der Hart's reputation can still be in stake. But the only way he can save his reputation is by beating Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Let's face it, guys. Call of Duty Advanced Warfare and Call of Duty Ghost are in the bottom of the barrel. They literally are the worst games in the whole series. Nobody asked for some Halo bullshit. And Call of Duty Ghost, man, that, those maps fucking sucked. The killstreak sucked ass. And the sound effects were terrible. The graphics were, eh, you know. A lot of things were wrong for Call of Duty Ghost. So that has to be the worst game of the whole series. And then Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, nobody asked for some Halo bullshit. So that's why it's the second place, you know, for the last place. So Black Ops 3 will be right on top of it, though. Or will it be a tie? Because nobody knows how Black Ops 3 will be, even though it has, there has been a lot of leaks. So, I believe Von der Hart can still be off the hook of this. He, he will not be looking bad. And let me tell you guys how. Uh, the only way Von der Hart can actually be looking good, releasing another Halo bullshit game, is by beating Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. So they won't be at the bottom of the barrel. That's pretty much it. You know, That's the only way he can beat him. Like, he, can, he can actually save his reputation. It's by... Beating Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, making Infinity War look super bad. So, um, yeah. I'm not with the guy. I mean, he literally lied to you guys, and yet y'all still, like, want to deep throw his ass and shit. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Stop living the now. The guy lied to you, but yet, you know, there he goes. He's literally going off at Twitter right now, like, revealing a lot of shit, and literally, ah, <sighs> whatever, you know. Whatever gets the game pumping, I guess that's the way to, you know, pretty much present the game. Um, another thing is that all the leaks, you know, all the reveals have been pretty much good. So that means that Call of Duty Advanced Warfare right now has been looking bad. And Infinity War itself is looking bad itself also because, you know, Black Ops 3 is offering us way so, too much. Like, more customization options, more emblem layers, which is like, like around 120. That's what I heard last time. Um, also, the C4 is coming back. Uh, what's another thing that coming back? Um, they do reveal a bunch of weapons, the AK-47, which is pretty much good. Good thing that weapon came back. Um, another weapon, because we did have the AK-12 here, but I don't like the AK-12. I don't know, it's getting super weird. I like the traditional AK. That one's the real Modern Warfare style AK, you know. Uh, another thing they revealed is more uh, customization for your character. Um, I believe you can create like five, I believe. I don't know what the hell is this thing about the gunsmith. It sounds so bullshitty because that that same bullshit sounds so f super familiar to the one in Call of Duty Ghost about, you know, the single shot rifles. Like, they supposedly added a new division and now we got single shot rifles. Like, dude, that, that shit has been always with the assault rifles. Like, it's the same shit. I know it's single shot, but, you know, that division is still the same assault rifle shit, you know. Still didn't change the game. It's still the same thing. So, uh, it sounds so bullshitty, man. That gunsmith's bullshit. So... Um, let's just hope it is better than Call of Duty Advanced Warfare and that's how the only way the Von der Hart can actually slip past by without getting harmed. Because right now, Infinity War and Sledgehammer games are getting a lot of shit. Y'all gotta admit that. So that is it, guys. I don't want to talk about Von der Hart. You guys deep throw the guy. I don't give a damn. I hate the guy. I really don't respect the guy at all.
but I'll still play this game because this channel is about Call of Duty. So that is it. Subscribe for more. If you guys want to see more about my opinions about Call of Duty games.